If you're looking for the court wizard, I'm not him. Farangar is the one you want. If you wish to speak with him, you'll find him somewhere in the general direction of boredom. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's this invention called wine that requires my immediate attention. Oh, all right, if you must. As the Nords say, make it quick. Brevity would be my favorite word if it didn't have three syllables. Now, wine, that's a good word. Short, sweet, intoxicating. People love wine almost as much as they love whining. I'm one of those people. Really? Are you a wine expert by chance? In my youth, I once thought West Wales wine was the finest drink ever conceived. Imagine my embarrassment when I tasted my first vintage. This is why natives of the Isle look down upon those born on foreign shores. My name is Elduin. I've come to Whiterun for the Skyforge and for Farangar. I don't see that as a negative. My Nord friends often chide me for neglecting the rich history of Skyrim, as if I was ignorant of it. They say, you know, Elder, there's more to Skyrim than just Alto and spiced wine. And I tell them, yes, yes, I know all about your windmills and bards and twelve different words for cold. I only care about the wine. If you have something to say to the Jarl, say it with your own tongue. Jorland allows me to use his magical forge to craft jewelry. I use the enchanting table at Dragon's Reach to raise their value. Then I turn them around and sell them to Farangar. And he always buys them. I've never met a man so obsessed with necklaces. He says their enchantments are valuable. I think he likes to wear them. Maybe tomorrow I'll enchant him a dress to go along with it. I don't really understand it myself. There should be more of me. It seems to me smithing and enchanting are two complementary skills. I can only assume it has to do with the stigma that comes with being a blacksmith. They say to wield a hammer you must be as dull as an anvil and as strong as an ox. As if stupidity were a prerequisite for the craft. Although I have heard warriors talk of such things. They say the person who thinks too much on the battlefield lacks focus. In battle, having an empty mind certainly makes you more decisive, but the forge is not something that requires you to act swiftly. But I do like the notion of intelligence being a weakness. There are far too many mages who thumb their noses at common folk, as if worth was defined by the size of one's skull. Alchemists invented wine. Farmers harvest the grapes, and smiths provide the tools. So, to me, each is worth more than all the mages in Winterhold. Well, don't quote me on that. It does seem likely though, doesn't it? Some alchemist trying to invent a new health potion stumbles onto a recipe for liquid bliss. Caves are the best place to find packs of wolves, or bears, sometimes even trolls. Unfortunately, by myself, they provide a bit of a challenge. There used to be three other mages in my faction, a motley bunch to be sure. A Khajiit, a Redguard, a Nord, and myself. Four mages can be a formidable party, especially when their talents complement each other. As a result, I can afford to make mistakes. Mistakes like trading our last healing potion for a flask of wine. Not a problem when the Red Guard was there to restore my wounds. Thankfully, the one talent I do have serves me well. It turns out most feral beasts in Skyrim are susceptible to fire. Victim to the squalls of battle, I'm afraid. It matters not if you are a novice or an archmage. All it takes is a single misstep. The Khajiit was first. We all knew it'd be him. Then our numbers were three. Next came the Red Guard, then the Nord, and soon only I remained. The Khajiit, Razan, was what we call a scroll mage. 
Not an ounce of magical talent, but one who desperately wanted to cast spells. Weather well, says I'm too young to change the sword. So I thought I he stole them, but he just as easily could have spent his share of the boon. Make it quick. Victim to the squalls of battle, I'm afraid. The Khajiit was first. We all knew. Well, at that point, it was just the two of us. Ralzan wasn't particularly missed, but Sarasa was our healer. Einar was a gallant lord, if nothing else. We were exploring a cave to the northwest. A large, desolate space rumored to be inhabited by necromancers. We entered the main chamber, which was hollow, save for the long fangs of rock that jutted from the ceiling. It was in the shadow of these fangs that the spiders lived, and from there, they descended. We stood back to back as they surrounded us, his hands shrouded in ice, mine cloaked in fire. I wanted to set them aflame, to oblivion with soul traps, a waste of magicka and time, but Einar saw fit to waste both. Indeed, it was his soul trap that set them upon us, at one point, I couldn't distinguish the live ones from the corpses, so I burned them all. We had managed to clear the path to the exit, however, and were just about to escape when a spider the size of the moon dropped from the ceiling. At this point, Einar and I were both out of magicka, and we each had one stamina potion left. Of course, mine was technically a wine bottle. It was an old vintage, from the wineries of the Isle, that I was saving until death. Einar asked me if I wanted to trade. He said I wouldn't have much use for it, seeing as I was going to live a long, healthy life. That old romantic. He was sacrificing himself so I might escape. I could never say no to that man. He drank the wine, wiped his lips, and showed me his teeth one last time. They were stained and red, but I've never seen a smile so bright. Then, he pulled out his dagger and drew the ugly beast's attention while I ran for the exit. Like I said, somewhere northeast of here? It had one of those typical Nord names like Icewind Gulch or something like that. Sarasa was brash and bold, and my kind of woman. Too brash for her own good, though. She wanted to trap grand souls instead of common ones. The most plentiful source of grand souls are mammoths. The most common place to find mammoths are giant camps. It was a short-sighted idea. We ended up wasting all our profits on magicka potions, provided we even survived. Sarasa didn't. Giants are quite protective of their big furry cheese factories. Fine, fine. Really? No doubt from that knave Larkspur, telling everyone that I'm a battle cat under the sheets. The truth is, I don't even remember any of it. Well, maybe you've confused my name with the World Eater. It's Elduin, with an E, and I don't eat worlds. Although it's possible you may have heard it elsewhere. I hear in the Isle you can't swing a dead skeever without hitting at least three Elderwinds. All right then. Yes? When it comes to examining wine, I'm still just a novice, although I have picked up the basics. Well, supposedly the color can tell you the wine's provenance, as well as the conditions it was developed in, serving as an indicator of how it will taste. Wine tasting is apparently all about discovery, yet I've discovered that I enjoy drinking wine more than I enjoy tasting it. So let the nobles sniff and swirl their goblets. I prefer to swallow my wine like a common rube. I like how you agree with the things I say. Why aren't there more of you? About time.
If you're looking for the court wizard, you'll find him somewhere. <laughs> I am your sword and your shield. Until next time. Need supplies? See Bellathor at his store. Sleazy little man, but he has good stock.
Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day? Yes. Would lead you to the road makes this one weary. An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away, but for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. The Khajiit hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. Take a look. If we offer a discount to both sides, the winners will prosecute us for helping the losers. I hope that you will... ...do business with us again. You honor Khajiit with your presence. The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. May the sun keep you warm even in this land of bitter cold. We are creatures of the desert. The north wind chills us to the bones. Khajiit are not welcome in the cities. So we make our camps outside the walls. May the sun keep you warm even in this land of bitter cold. It has been too long since I tasted it. You know that our supply is limited. It could be a season or more before we get a new shipment from the south. My ears hear the truth in your words. And yet, my body shakes with the need. Control yourself. Do not frighten away our customers with your fits. Yes, of course, you are right. Still, I would give much for even a few grains of moon sugar. Put the thought out of your mind, and do not speak of it again. What's on your mind? What? Where am I? On my head. Oh, it's you! I mean, what? No, I've never seen you before. I have no idea who you are. It's not like I've been stalking you or anything. Wait! Don't leave! I I'm injured! Uh, yes, injured. You have to take me with you, otherwise I might die, and you wouldn't want that on your conscience. Yeah, well, that's because... Okay, fine. If you take me with you, I will make it worth your while. You won't find anyone tougher than me in Skyrim. Not to mention that's good looking. Is that it? Aren't you going to flex your muscles and tell me how great you are? That seems to be the customary greeting in Skyrim. Anyway, there's no suppose about it. Everyone could use someone a little more like me. What? Ugh, I have no idea. 
my memory is a little fuzzy. If you happen to have any, I would appreciate it. Oh, and stop staring at my body. It's like you've never seen a semi-naked woman before. I don't. I thought I would help you out. Well, I was hoping you would kind of keep me company. Look, I know it sounds weird, but it's no fun on my own. You can tell me to leave if you want, but surely you can at least give me a chance? Am I not allowed out on my own now? I had a little too much to drink. So what? I guess I must have passed out. I hope I didn't cause too much trouble. Actually, I'm not really that bothered. Of course I'm alright. Don't start fuzzing over me. I'm more than capable of handling myself. I don't know. I'll just go wherever you are going. I will repay your kindness by fighting alongside you. Surely that's an offer you can't refuse. Alright then. Oh, I haven't introduced myself, have I? My name is Sophia, but you probably already knew that. I'm quite well known in Skyrim, although sometimes I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons. I kind of see myself as an adventure, although it's no fun without anyone to witness my heroic deeds such as... Well, I'm sure there's probably something. I like to get drunk, kill stuff, and be a nuisance. So, what about you? Well, then it must be a lucky day, as I know Skyrim like the back of my hand. Of course, I have many other talents, so be sure to let me know if you need me. So you're playing now, huh? Well, don't think some fancy title is going to make me your servant. Although I must admit I'm happy for you. Perhaps I could take advantage of you sometime. Uh, I mean, if we got into trouble, I could use your status to my advantage. So you want to be a companion? I guess it's quite a noble role to play Kajit in. welcomes you. Take a look. My ancestors. Well, let's just hope they don't take this honor thing too seriously. Especially since being honorable is not something I'm known for. Let me guess. You want to talk? I take it by trade you mean dump all your useless junk on me. Fine. Tools, wares and weapons. All for sale at fair prices. Time to move, I guess. What's the deal with that house call the Yarl just gave you? She doesn't look much to me. I could outmatch her in terms of combat. Looks and just about anything, really. I don't know what you could possibly see in her. I'm not sure I like the sound of the 7,000 steps. Surely that must absolutely kill your legs? 
I also better check I'm wearing underwear. Cause I've heard that it can get a little chilly around the southern parts, if you know what I mean. I don't need your help to do that before you ask. Can I help you? Welcome. I'm the owner and proprietor of Hunting Brew Meadery. Hunting Brew uses only the finest natural honey, not that sludge you'll find at Golden Glow Estate. Take a look. Uh, until next time. You need something to do, or you just enjoy slowing down the hard-working folk? If you want to buy something, go find Sabjorn. Otherwise, piss off. If you're looking to purchase any mead, speak to the owner, Sabjorn. Hear that? I swear there's something out there. In the dark. I can get away with anything in Skyrim. I just act all cute and innocent, and the guards turn a blind eye. Not that I'm a bad person or anything. Most of the time.
get out of here. Die, damn you! Never should have come here.
Watch the skies, traveler. I serve Jarl Balgrub as steward. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Well, we did it. Let's go spend our gold on cheap booze and get drunk till we both do something we regret and pass out. Sounds like a plan. Was there something you wanted? Oh, what is it? <laughs> Has someone told you what I'm like when I'm drunk or something? 